Folks, welcome back to Country Guitar Playing. Muting is a big part of playing many styles of music. But this percussive kind of a, there's terms, many different terms in the country, uh, chicken picking, uh, kind of a quacky playing. This all comes from a percussive sound with which we're using muting. Muting. Um, muting. Choking the strings. We're going to dissect that muting more, a little more closely today, all right? Um, when you come from a background of strumming, it can be strange to mute because you've got to kind of create a different position with your right hand, okay, when muting. You've got to create some sort of a rhythmic pattern while laying some skin on the strings, okay? There's your, one of be one of your first goals is to um, pick a rhythm. I'll pick, I'll pick a little rhythm here and, and we'll show you. Muted and unmuted, and the feel you can get. Okay? Years ago, they were big, years ago, Alabama would use a, a rhythm something like this. I'll show you unmuted, and then you'll see what I mean by muted, okay? This is an E. muted is much more effective. We would like this. Okay. We'll break that down slower for you here. Okay. Folks, as you can see, a lot more noisy and clangy without the without the muting. Kind of almost unmusical, almost unusable if you're in the studio. Um, we're working off an E chord again. Okay, an E chord down to your first position. And we're going to play a partial E chord, okay? This pretty little E vamp and E. Kind of a rock vamp, okay? Um, we're doing a partial E chord. Here's your E chord. But I'm going to use these two notes off the E chord, okay? You're going to use your second fret D string. First fret G string. Okay? Okay? I just kind of raked all four strings here. Upper st structure strings. Okay? I'm also reaching, it's going to be a reach for you, but I'm reaching here to this F sharp note on the D string. First hitting the low E twice. Okay? muted low E notes and two rakes on your E form. Then you've got to grab this F sharp note on the D string, fourth fret, with your little finger. This will be at first a little bit of a stretch for you. Again, here's the vamp, up to speed, muted. Okay, slow down. It's two muted low E notes. Okay. You play your partial of your E chord, which I showed you earlier, and you're going to grab this note, fourth fret on the D string, and then enter back, finish off with your E no, E form again. So it's. Okay, one more time, slow. Next chord is an A, partial A add nine. Actually, when you lift up that finger, you add, you add a nine. You add the B note there. It's an A add two. Okay, so your have your D string second fret pressed, second fret, and your G string second fret. Your your B string is open. Okay, so it's going to be, and we're going to ignore the low E string on this and use the, the A string, your fifth string. Also, to cut out any unwanted noise from your low E, noise from your low E, I would wrap my thumb around sometimes to keep it quiet. Okay? Again, muting is a very important part of playing cleanly. 
So the second, the eight, the the second part of our vamp is just again choked though, muted. Okay, lesson on muting. Together, here's up to speed the intro we're working on. I'll do it slowly first. Again, to cap off the lesson, remember that it's it's very important, and and work slowly. Have faith. It's it's a lot of fun, but creating this mute with your with the fat palm of your hand and getting some rhythmic motion on your hand, right? It's a choke sound, but it's very very effective. So obviously you know if the muting is working, okay? If, if the muting's not working, it's gonna come off something like okay? when you put the effect you want is so there's you'll know right away when you're muting properly. You really need this. Okay, good luck.